Now to an ABC News exclusive with the husband who is speaking for the first time since his wife was killed while parasailing in Florida. He's sharing his warning for other families as they plan summer vacations. Gio Benitez spoke with him and is back with that. Good morning again, Gio. Hey, Robin, good morning again. Yeah, this is a man still very much in pain, but he decided now is the time to sit down with us for an interview just as the summer travel season kicks off, hoping to save another family from heartbreak. This morning, a devastated husband speaking out for the first time since losing his wife a year ago. Srini Alaparthi and his family were out on the Florida Keys last summer enjoying a parasailing excursion they'd found online when the weather quickly deteriorated and their adventure took a tragic turn. Your, your wife, your son, your nephew, they get into the parasail and they take off. What happens next? The captain started kind of like, I mean, concerned, and his actions was kind of like terrified, and I was also scared. The parasail caught in wind gusts of up to 30 miles per hour, pulling the boat off course. This isn't the good side when the boat's crew could not reel in the parasail, the captain made the decision to cut it loose. What were you thinking when you saw him cut the rope? Whatever he was doing, it, it was concerning for all of us. I didn't exactly see when he did, when, when he cut the rope. It was kind of like I mean, terrifying and horrible moments. The three passengers plummeting, the parasail dragging them for miles before hitting a bridge. Trini is holding the captain's leg, begging him to please go out there and save them. And he goes ahead and tells him, don't worry, the bridge will help. That's where the parasail- He said that. Yes. He said to you, the bridge will help? Yeah. Srini's wife, Sapraja, was killed. Their 10-year-old son and 7-year-old nephew badly injured. In September, the boat's captain, Daniel Couch, was charged with manslaughter and multiple boating violations. He's pleaded not guilty. Alaparthi has filed a lawsuit against him, his colleague, the boat company, and the marina, alleging they did not check weather reports that should have prevented them from sailing, failed to provide enough safety equipment, including life jackets on board, and didn't properly bring down the parasail after losing control of it. There are so many opportunities for them to stop this from happening, but yet there's failure after failure after failure. ABC News reached out to the defendants, but did not hear back. While parasailing incidents like this are rare, any equipment failure or sudden change in weather conditions can be catastrophic. People are gonna be going on vacation, right? It's the summer, they wanna get away. What should people look for? Don't rely upon the signage, don't rely upon the websites, ask questions. What are your policies? What are your procedures? What type of safety equipment you have? If it doesn't smell right, if it doesn't seem right, don't go. What is your message to other families right now? They're planning their summer vacations. Having fun is not worth the cost of life. There should be enough safety measures. Otherwise, we will end up in a miserable situation. And he says this is what that lawsuit is all about. It's about making change, not just for one company, but for the industry as a whole, so that other families don't have to feel this incredible pain. Rob. So kind of him to be thinking in his pain, thinking about their families and hoping that it doesn't happen to them. Gio, thank you for your reporting. Appreciate it. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.